Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I would be very thankful. I just finished watching Alien Covenant, and I am not impressed. This is by far one of the most disappointing movies I've watched uh, in a while. Um, basically, I was expecting Alien 5, and what I got was Prometheus 2. And uh, an even bigger sin than that is, in, is that um, Prometheus had a budget of 130 million, and this film had a budget of 100 million. So you're never supposed to go backwards in terms of budget. It uh, comes off as uh, not only is the film basically guaranteed to be lower quality in production value, but um, it just comes off as trying to cash grab uh, the fans for the sake of using the IP. So yeah, this one was misleading, not a fan of it. Um, so we're following the Starship Covenant which is the first clue that this is Prometheus 2 because the reason the previous film was called Prometheus because that was the name of their ship. So that was the first clue and I started to get worried. Um, so the Starship Covenant is traveling deep into space uh, with a few thousand colonists aboard and they're going to colonize a planet in space. Um, forget the name of it, but it's, it's about seven years away. Um, like seven years worth of time away and they spend their time in a cryostasis while a uh, synthetic named Walter oversees the ship and them because he lives forever, right? Um, and it should be worth noting that uh, Walter is played by the exact same actor that played David. So that is like the new um, synthetic face, I guess, that all the models are using. Um, and so they, they're they going to this planet seven years away, but uh, some sort of um, uh, like ion storm or something causes a disaster, a small disaster on their ship. It gets like 50 plus people killed, including a crew member, uh, their original captain. Um, and they understandably aren't enthusiastic to get back into the pods knowing that that could happen to them. Um, but there's an alternative. They pick up a signal from a nearby planet and, I mean, for all of us, we know what's going to happen, right? But, you know, chronologically, this film's quite early in the timeline, so they ha don't have a ton of experience with xenomorphs and stuff like that. Um, because the previous uh, films... I guess the previous film's events did not transfer over at all. Um, because their ship went missing, Elizabeth Shaw is dead, and uh, David's missing. So, yeah. But, um, and there will be some spoilers in this, just so you know. So... God, I just, I'm so depressed about this movie, it's almost hard to talk about. So, uh, they go to this nearby planet that has the same, if not better, um, a better habitat. So it's even better to colonize. But, um, the crew, this the ship's second in command protests, saying it's a bad idea, they didn't plan for that, they didn't analyze it, etc. Makes sense, right? And a common theme of this film is that they make terrible decisions as a crew and they're incompetent, unfortunately. Um... And this is, this is where we get into spoiler territory, so once they're down there, they obviously get infected by uh, xenomorph things. But it should be noted that these are, I think these are weakened, I'm not some lore expert, but if I had to guess, I think these are weakened versions of xenomorphs. Because these ones, these are white aliens, and we've, not, we've no, we have seen white aliens before, but white aliens are weaker because they have not uh, consumed a human host. Uh, the, the most powerful um, xenomorphs are the black ones, specifically the queens, that successfully face hug someone and burst out with, you know, I don't know how the lore works, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, but here's the spoiler territory. They meet the person, or they, they find the source of the signal, and it turns out it is David, who has gone completely bananas, even though he's a synthetic. Uh, he has become obsessed with finding... He's become obsessed with the, the creation of life, and he basically values xenomorph life more than human life, and he's been bioengineering it in his little private lab, but he needs human sacrifices in order to make the most powerful ones, so... Yeah. Are there positives to this movie? Acting is pretty strong. Um, the guy that plays David slash uh, Walter's obviously very good. The captain was pretty good. Um, yeah, I do want to mention Danny McBride was a very strange casting choice. It wasn't really a problem, but I do want to mention very weird casting choice. Um, it's, I wouldn't really call it visually impressive, but it is a high-quality sci-fi film. So if you're into, like, 
space and spaceships and planet exploring, then you'll like this. And yeah, also the soundtrack. Um, the Prometheus did not have this soundtrack, which was, this is the, that's the one single thing that Covenant does better than Prometheus, is the soundtrack's better, because they're using all of the old audio cues from the previous films. So they're like using the flute, do, 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 and it's like, it gives me goosebumps every time I hear it, so the soundtrack was good in this, but yeah, that's a very short list if I'm being honest. Um, the, the good horror scenes were not even close to as good as the Prometheus's good horror scenes, to be honest, so I wouldn't even call... I mean, there is occasionally a good scene in this. Uh, I thought that the xenomorph not having a mouth this time, like, when you open it, when it gets its teeth open, you can't initially see the teeth. That's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, the heights of this did not reach the heights of Prometheus, so. Prometheus I wasn't in love with, but it was still pretty good and it was unique, but this is basically... So, yeah, problem number one is that this is Prometheus 2, not Alien 5. And I was misled and annoyed because of that and disappointed. Problem number two, it has a lower budget than the previous film in the series. Problem number three, the crew is completely incompetent. One of the characters, one of the earlier characters, uh, Ferris, she, it is just, I can't believe this, like, they actually watched this and said, yeah, this makes sense. Like, this is, this is like toddler level of thinking. So, this is what Ferris does. It's not her fault, it's just whoever wrote her, right? So, Ferris locks her crewmate in with a xenomorph creature in an attempt to quarantine it. And then stupidly, I guess she feels bad or something, she goes and arms herself with a gun, opens the door, tries to fire at it, but slips on blood. Oh yeah, and by the way, when she locked her, when she locked her crewmate in there, she herself was already infected. So if she was playing fair and by the rules, she would have quarantined herself as well. Um, but then she opens the door to try and reconcile, I guess, her actions. And uh, she tries to shoot at it, but she slips on blood, can't even pay attention to the ground that she's walking on. Um, and this is the dumbest part. So after she misses, she fires again, and she points her gun at the explosive cylinders right behind the alien. So instead of shooting the alien, she shoots the explosive cylinders right behind it, which detonates herself and the ship. It is one of the dumbest scenes I've ever seen in a sci-fi film, or just any film ever. This is really, really, really dumb. You also have, she's not the only one, also the captain. So the captain gets lured by David into the alien hatchery. He's got his own little personal alien farm. And uh, I could buy that, okay, you're, you're getting lured by David. You don't necessarily know how everything works, nor do you have a ton of precedence since, you know, the previous ship is, was lost, right? So there's no evidence of what happened, but like, this is where it gets dumb. So I'm okay with him being lured, what I'm not okay with he is going to touch, so he knows how wacko um, Walt, or, uh, David is at this point. And he, just because David says it's safe to touch, he straight up touches a live alien egg, and then it splits open, and he says, have a look, and, and then he actually goes and looks in it, and then the facehugger jumps at him. It is the dumbest s stuff ever. It's super irritating. There's a lot more incompetence than just that, and I made this exact point in the previous film. The previous film, they look like geniuses compared to these people, but in the previous film, it's like, if you, why would you trust such an important mission to such incompetent people, at least the way they're written here? And these people are way worse than all of the other humans combined in this entire franchise, so... Yeah, they're, they're really bad. Uh, the next problem is you barely get to see the xenomorph, and when you do, it looks terrible. I think it's because they're mostly white in this, so white CGI does not blend particularly well with the scenery. So they always look very out of place and computer-ish, you know? Um, Prometheus, I really couldn't tell if something was a computer half the time, because that's how high quality it was. But this was clearly computers the entire time. There was not one single genuine prop uh, as far as xenomorphs go. So that was pretty lame. You barely get to see them. Next problem is that this film fails as a horror film because it's too focused on being philosophical and profound. It's, it's so interested in the question of where do humans come from in this universe that it puts that more, much more further ahead in the list of priorities than scaring the audience or pleasing the audience or entertaining them. So it's just way too focused on the engineers, the synthetics, and just the origin of humanity and there's this little religious side commentary as well. So 
I really, really don't like this one. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10, which is lower than most people, but I, I, I found no redeeming qualities, basically no redeeming qualities. It had a lower budget than Prometheus, and it was just Prometheus 2.0 pretending not to be. So, 4 out of 10 for Alien Covenant. Really, really hated it, and it's very skippable. There is no, you do not need to see this.